Hi all, so this Dyson is dying again and the problem is now the trigger is not working and I can show you that the battery is good this is by the way a brand new battery that I bought I did not repair it, I just bought a new one and if I press you can see the LEDs and the trigger is broken and this is why I've ordered this piece this is a replacement and I need to disassemble it again <laughs> I'm tired of it and to do all the change so let's see how difficult it is to do it so we'll start by a very simple taking the filter out and then uh, we have this part here and how we repress here somewhere and it should go out yeah this button here and this part goes out and then all the other stuff which is some screws here need to open the screws here and need to open uh, just uh, just this I think these screws and maybe the two here and then it will go out and we need to get to the trigger in order to replace this broken trigger and so let's start to do it step by step these are just regular Phillips screws so let's unscrew them we have one two three and four why the other two are not out yes there are and now we need to take these two screws here I think also Phillips screws yeah and this goes out very easily and now we have additional screws here these are torques okay so we need to unscrew them in order to open this cap and get to the wires and there we have additional screws that are catching the wire and one connector so yeah it look like this will be okay yeah so two screws here and just need to press this down this cover should go out you can do it gently with a large screwdriver flat one because it's a little tricky to take it out yeah 
just like this and now the additional two torques I think the same size to these contacts one and then two be careful not to lose your screws because it's a little difficult to get these parts again and now in order to take it out there is a tiny connector here that I really don't like because this connector done a lot of troubles to me so you just need to take it up like this and then you need to flatten these contacts in order to take all the motor out you can use a plier for this just a flat plier something like this I guess just a little bit now you can take all the motor out and we are now in the place that we need to replace there are additional two screws here and one screw here somewhere yeah I see it inside I think it's also a Torx I really can't really find ah by the way these are also Torx but you need a Torx with 90 degrees in order to get there because it's not very simple so I will try to find something so it's really unbelievable but I found a kit that I bought a long time ago with an extension that I can bend and unbelievable again that it came damaged the extension cord is damaged but I think it can catch a little th this bit so I will try very gently to put it and use the screwdriver and unbelievable this seems to work okay wow without this one it would be very difficult to take them out so if you have a kit with extension so you have a I got the solution for this but it's very not straightforward Whoa, this is difficult. The other one. Ah. The other one is a little tricky. Maybe I will try with a hand force because I did give the first. Yeah, yeah, this is going great because I did get the first force to unscrew it aha I could do it now this plastic should go off there are two tiny clips here I can see them here so you need to press them And it will go out aha it's a little tricky okay okay I see how to do it but I can break the, the plastic that is catching this part ok 
Okay, now it is out. But now I need to take this screw here. I see it. And it's again the same bit. I can see. I think I can get. I can get to it with this screwdriver. Here from the top, I can see it. I can't get, I don't see if this is the size and I don't see if I get inside correctly. Maybe I will use this light. Yeah, now I feel I catch it. Yeah, and it is open. So another screw. This is for the trigger. And now I need to take this plastic out in order to take the wires from this connector. Just something like this. Not very easy this. Uh. Now it is okay. So this plastic is off. And now I can take this, just pull it out to my way. Let's see how to do it. So I just need to catch it with the plier. Ah, and it goes out just like this. And now if you will notice, it's broken here. Yeah. This piece is actually broken. So this is all the problem. And of course the problem is <laughs> to take everything again after replacing it. So be careful with the spring not to lose it. And it looks like if you've got this far, so it's very easy. Just this side and this side. Again, be careful with the spring. Take it out easily. And put the new one. Start with the spring, I guess. And then Yeah, you see, ha. not very easy. Of course, need to close everything back and hope that everything is working. This is bent a little, but I think it will be okay. So this is the problem. You see it is broken on this place. Of course, where is the all the force? It's it's not the, the, the better because I saw plastic that has a, a strength here in order not to break again. This is not the one that I've ordered. I don't know why. But now we need of course to reverse everything back. So we'll try to do it. It's very clear that this is the trigger. So you need to 
take this bent it a little so everything will go to its place the wire the wire is the problem to catch them ha, everything is so tricky in this Dyson I think I could manage to take the problem is I think the tiny wire not to harm the tiny wire yeah and now I'm okay of course need to push it again <coughs> and how do I know that I've reached the limit I really don't know I hope that everything is okay I really have no idea it's, it looks okay to me maybe when I close this problematic screw it will be okay maybe I use this screwdriver and I will use this to do it magnetize so it will catch yeah it will catch it now I can see Oh, it's not simple this one so I will again use a light to see what I'm doing yeah now I think I'm in correct place of course need to close it all the way and it looks okay to me now before closing everything back try not to make short and maybe I will put the battery and I will check that now the trigger is triggering it you see it's working now no problem problem is solved now I will close everything back and test if this is okay now okay so before closing everything it's a good thing to to put the battery up ah, and then the filter because the filter is all the sensors and test that everything is okay so now I can close all the other things and hopefully problem is solved so everything is assembled now let's do the last test okay so let's do it as you can see the trigger problem of this one the broken one is sold. Thank you and bye.